freaky fast delivery. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to Sports Local Television on DSE TV Comcast 96. I'm Nick Davros, your host. Tonight's show is coming to you, as always, from Fricano's on the Lake, and where you should be for your destinations for the world's best pizza on the lakeshore. A very special thanks goes to Ted Fricano and his fantastic staff for hosting our show each and every Monday night. Tonight's show, as always, going to be broadcasted at different times during the week, Wednesdays from 6 to 9, at 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock, Thursdays at 8 p.m., Saturdays at 7 p.m. Don't forget, on DSE TV, Comcast 96. Tonight, we're pleased to have the new head coach, or second year head coach, of the West Michigan Conference Oak Ridge Eagles, Kerry Harger. Here, Kerry, come on up, my friend. I tell you what, if there isn't a coach that has jumped into a hot seat, I don't know which coach really has. You inherit a program that, you know, is, is iconic for one person, and that's head coach Jack, former head coach Jack Sugars. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it was a, definitely a, a thought process, uh, knowing that, uh, number one, that when Jack announced his retirement, uh, having to pick my job off the floor. It was one of those things where you knew it was coming, but w once it finally was announced, it was, uh, you almost had to do a double take. Yeah. It was just surprising when it was announced, but at the same time, contemplating taking that over uh, w was a huge step as well. Had Jack contemplated it for a few years, or was this a total shock to you guys? Uh, you know, as far as as far as we knew, it was it was a total shock to us. You know, like I say, we, we kind of figured it was coming, but I mean, he he showed up for practice every day, just as enthusiastic as ever, mm -hmm. uh, just as, as determined to to have a great day's practice, to win the next game as we'd ever seen him. So I mean, it wasn't like he had he had uh, just trailed off and, and started to lose interest. I mean, he was he was into every practice. A little background. And I know very little about you. I know a great deal of the football program itself because sure. of the great tradition and reputation that Jack had and developed. But share with us a little bit about, you know, are you a player? Did you go there? Are you new sure. to the area? Uh, well, I yeah, born and raised in Muskegon. Uh, graduated from Oak Ridge High School in 1990. Uh, so I actually uh, played for Jack uh, when I was in high school. Uh, graduated there, uh, graduated from Oak Ridge, and like I said, I went to uh, Hope College. Uh, played football there at Hope College. Uh, Four-year letterman there. Um, who who was your head coach there? Uh, Donald Donald Hope, Ray Smith. Ray Smith, yeah, and, and another legendary figure in football yeah. down yeah. there as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, and then uh, so the and then uh, Hope's current head coach, uh, Dean Kreps, was our uh, defense coordinator. Defense My line son coach. played for Dean and recruited Nicholas to go down at Hope too. Okay, yeah. yeah. A great, great program at Hope. Absolutely. Great staff. Uh, just great coaches, great guys down there. Uh, still keep in contact with them. Uh, helped them coach uh, a youth camp down there and different things, position camps. And uh, so I did my, uh, got into education classes down there and, and uh, uh, it was time to do my student teaching. And I uh, came back in the, well, I did my student teaching at Grand Haven High School okay. in the uh, fall of 95. Our fall of '94, excuse me, and then uh, in the winter I came back to Oak Ridge, and and uh, there was a position open mid-year, and I I was a, a permanent substitute teacher uh, in the uh, the second semester of '94 '95 school year. Got my foot in the door there, and I started coaching at Oak Ridge in the fall of '95. And what's the hardest thing that you've had to overcome as as being the head coach that was unexpected? Because, you know, you follow Jack, you saw how Jack did it. He says, right. okay, you know, Jack's got a good thing. I'm not going to change too much, okay? Yeah, yep. Because why change too much, Oh, right? exactly, yeah. When exactly, I, you know, it's, it's been ingrained. But what's one thing that came unexpectedly that you hadn't planned for that you had to overcome? Uh, probably number one on the top of the list, uh, time involvement. Uh, even, though, even though I knew and, and I tried to prepare myself and my wife and my kids as – going to be a little busier, going to be more involved with some things, uh, time involvement, that was probably, still is the number one thing to try to manage my time schedule uh, and, and all the number of things that just that seem to pop up uh, and the little things to try to take care of that, uh, you know, that I want to try to delegate off to maybe some other coaches, but it's, it's just easier for me to take care of at the time. 
you know, back when I played, you know, we showed up in August. We were done, you know, because yeah. play, playoffs weren't around then when I played. I'm, I'm that old. <laughs> but, you know, we, you know, we had two weeks of conditioning, two weeks of two-a-days, then we jumped in the scene. We didn't, the weight room that we had was like a 12-by-12 12 12 room. Oh, yeah. We had a universal gym, and we did around, and, and then, but we didn't have things like that. Sure. It's year-round right now. Oh, you know, absolutely. You, and off-season is probably more important than that because that's, you know, at Shores, you know, this is where you win your championship. It's in the weight room. Right. It's, it's the power lifting what we do. It's the seven-on-seven. Seven. It's yes. all that other stuff that people may not see. Sure, absolutely. And you're now involved in all of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it's, you know, we tell the kids all the time that, uh, you know, that's – we look at our summer schedule and uh, it's, it's packed. And every year we tell them it's – we ask a little bit more and a little bit more absolutely. and a little bit more. Not only are the kids, but are the parents of your kids too. Right. There's more sacrifice. Yeah. There's more expenses involved as well, isn't there? Oh, yeah. We try to keep those down. We don't sure. go too many – we don't go to too many camps. You know, if anything, we try to keep everything in-house. Uh, we try to, to try to uh, and just it's keep it organized around us. I mean, it, it's worked for you. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Uh, we've been very fortunate. We've been very fortunate in that. Uh, you know, we, we are going to – Try to keep things. Uh, we're going to do our thing at our, you know, at our place or Good, well, you know, small group. And, you know, your facilities with the trip are second to none around here. It, yeah, we've been very fortunate in that as well. Uh, um, you know, through uh, through private donors and, and uh, you know volunteer workers and that type of thing to get that put in. I want I want to go to that. So, from what I heard, and, and you know, I was talking to Mark, and Mark was coaching then. I was talking to Jack about it. A lot of that stuff came from contributions i'm told absolutely yes all of it some of it part of it uh all of it all of it came through private donors uh you know matching contributions type of thing uh, how did you okay so i i i am assuming that you were somewhat involved with it somewhat more watching than anything but <laughs> it was a fun <laughs> process to watch it was so, very yeah it was very cool so did, did jack just go out and just start contacting people look i i've got this vision for our stadium i've got this idea and I want to roll with it. A, a lot of it, yeah. There were there were wow. some there were some major major players in the game, but otherwise, oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Everybody's got to have major players. Yeah, in the yeah. Game. yeah. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it was once once he knew he had a certain uh, a certain number uh, toward it, then he he went out and said, okay, I've got this much, I need this much more, or I need this work done, and help me make this dream come true. Yeah, absolutely. Well, good good for you. Yeah. One last thing before we get into your program, what's What's one thing that you've changed that Jack did that maybe you've changed or modified oh. to your program? Yeah, and I'm going to put well. you on the spot <laughs> with this one. You know, because it, it's easy to follow somebody that, you know, it, it's been this way, but you have to have your own personal touch. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's one thing that you added that you're really happy that you did? I, you know, I... Um a couple of things over the last couple of years. Okay. Uh, number one, well, you, you'll see them when the, when the kids come up. Uh, one of them is the when we ordered new jerseys. Okay. Uh, I uh, I went with an idea that uh, that was more kind of a I thought you know Oak Ridge being a blue collar community, mm -hmm. hardworking, uh, just you know tough nosed kids. Oh, absolutely. That uh, and, and I'd heard you know other areas of or other schools refer to us as this uh, for a very long time. Has just shortened it to Ridge. You know, I've heard other schools that just said, or other coaches said, hey, how'd Ridge do? Or oh, really? other schools okay. that have said, okay. hey, you know, or other coaches that said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm going to Scout Ridge tonight or something of that nature. Okay. And so we had just shortened it to put Ridge on the front of the jersey. Let me see a jersey, fellas, a minute. Let, let me see. Yeah, you do. It just, just says Ridge. Ridge yeah, yeah, it. yeah, it sure does. And, okay. uh, and, and so that, that, that I took some heat on that one. Well, I bet you did. Uh, I took some yeah. heat on that. And, you know, uh, another thing I noticed too, your helmets are really different than what Jack had too. Well, and that because was because we came over for a seven on seven. Yeah. You guys have really kind of like, okay, are we like Oregon all of a sudden? Oh I mean, no, no, that was the, you know the helmet was you know the blue <laughs> and the eagle. Now you've got this, you got the, the white on there. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, that's you got our, a little fade action going on there. That's like our that. uh, that's for our fiftieth anniversary this year. This is a fiftieth anniversary Oak Ridge football. Is it really? Yep. Well, congratulations to you, you guys. You. Hey, that that so that's something special. Yeah, that's Absolutely. what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something special uh, to, to signify that. And, uh, you know, be, uh, gold just doesn't really fit into our, our color scheme. Yeah, it's not in the color scheme. No, no we, no, we no. tried to take a look at a couple different samples, and no. it just wasn't working. And so, uh, Well, I like what you've done. I think it's really pretty cool. We played Thank you. Celine down there in game one, and that's they right. had very similar, you know, they were 
blue, yellow, and gold, and they did the you know the, the, mm -hmm. the color thing just like you. Okay, I'm impressed. Yeah, thank so you. So who came up with the idea? You or the kids or a combination? Well, it was uh, uh, two of my assistants and I that uh, we all teach in the same hallway. Okay. Uh, uh, Tim Parker and Nate Danachek. Tim okay. uh, calls my defense, and Nate calls my offense, and. A lot of teaching going on that week, weren't there? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I can see that going always, on. Always, yeah, always. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, time management. Yeah, absolutely. Know, so, that's, that's uh, right. So we looked at, like I say, we looked at some paint samples with some gold in it. just wasn't working for us. And then, uh, uh, you know, uh, Nate threw out there, hey, just, what if we just use the white instead of the gold? And we all just kind of looked at each other. And I, right away, I texted my helmet rep, and he got one out to us. And, and we so just So this fell is love just for it. the 50th anniversary. Next year, we go back? Uh, still wondering. It's a know. work in progress. It's a work in good, progress. Good, yeah. good, good. But yeah, it's been positive. Well, I'm, I'm impressed. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about the program right now. Western Michigan Conference, sure. premier conference around this area right now. You know, you, you've got quality teams. Mm -hmm. You've been to the playoff buku times. It's a tough conference. It is. It is. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a, a you know a, a badge of honor for us to to play in in. Uh, you know our our small school conference. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and and, uh, and different number of years to send uh, as many teams to the playoffs as we have in different divisions, uh, and, four, and, five, and, and six. Right, and not and only seven. send teams to the playoffs, but come back with some serious hardware. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, you know, and of course, uh, a lot of the people, most of the people, looked back to 08. Uh, right. When we had the four teams go to the, go yep. to the state championship yep. and all all win. Yep. And, uh you know, so that's yeah, that's a that's a, a huge uh, uh, source of pride for us in that conference, and uh, you know, it's it's one of those things where you know we're uh, we're gonna definitely we're gonna definitely play each other hard. We're gonna we're gonna uh, scrap and fight each other, and at the same time, you know, uh, once that's over, we're all gonna cheer for each other uh, once right. playoff time comes or post, you know. And the conference champion, it truly has earned the conference championship. I mean, there are no right. slouches up and down. Right, yeah. And a lot of teams, a lot of times, you know, we get interviewed and talk about the strength of the conference or the or the weekly schedule. And, you know, there there is not, uh, there's not time for a week off. Oh, no. Uh, even though you you're think, you are kind of like the SEC of high school. Yeah. You know, as far as Western Michigan is concerned. Right. Week in and week out, it's a battle. Yeah, and you, you you know you might think of well, there's a team that's near the bottom, or you know there's a weaker team, but you know as soon as you decide, okay, this is a week to take off, then you're going to get bit by that team, and they're going to show you something. Right, you know? and 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 that might and, and that bite might be too big for you to overcome during the course of the game, and then yeah. it's going to turn into a W. Yeah. Um, you're four and one on the year right now. Your Correct. only loss was to the defending state champions, West right. Catholic. Correct. Tough loss. It was tough, yes. tough team to play to start. Now you All played right. them week one. Week one, yep, week, two years in a row. It's tough to get started week one with something like that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Why did you load up so tough? Well, you know, one of the things too that we we kind of learned under Jack is uh, that you know we don't we didn't want to back away from competition. Uh, it's it's kind of goes along with the uh, the rule. You know, you want to you want to be the man. You got to beat the man. Oh, yeah. sort of thing and we wanted to uh, make sure that we we, we schedule good competition as, yep. as schedule competition as a seven on sevens and prepare ourselves for the summer or the season going into this you know from the summer yep. so yep. make sure that we're doing well on that and uh, well you know, then for the most teams part week one you, open. right so for the mo for the most part you load up heady in prep for your conference because your prep you, your conference is going to be as tough, if not tougher, than your non-conference. At times, yes. Yeah. 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 Well, we are here with Kerry Hager, head coach at Oak Ridge. We're going to be right back. Uh, I'm going to get a list of some of the guys that you brought. Sure. And we'll figure out. I was a, I'm a line coach. Oh, I yeah. I love the line. The line leads the way because Absolutely. you guys are nothing with a line. So I think we're going to start with linemen. This is Nick Davos with head coach Kerry Hager. We'll be right back. All right. Great. In the 150 years we've been in business, many things have changed. Our greatest achievements are rooted in the things that haven't. Years ago, the person you called banker was also the person you called friend. When it came to service, there were fewer layers and friendlier smiles. And banks earned the trust of their customers and community while working tirelessly not to lose it. At Independent Bank, all this remains true today. Sure, we've made advances that help customers bank more conveniently and more comfortably. But at the end of the day, we know that people really need a trustworthy partner committed to their financial goals, dreams, and aspirations. 
and we've been happy to be that partner since 1864. McDonald's Candies, 1064 South Getty Street in Muskegon, features an assortment of chocolate-covered nuts and creams, peanut clusters, fudge, seafoam, turtles, cherry cordials, and regular and holiday novelties. I've had dozens of people tell me, just cremate me when I die and then throw a big party. I'm sure you've heard someone say that too. I completely get it. Well, I want to help you throw that party. I've got tables and chairs and easels and boards, I've got sound systems and music, I've got caterers and food, and I've got all the people to set it up and break it down when it's all over. So why don't you let us here at Clocks help you with that party so you can focus on what's important, sharing the stories. Benson's Drug Company, the home of Benson's Bottom Paint. Offering an expanded grocery selection, Medicare billing, and diabetes management and education. Benson's now features a Kodak machine, which allows customers to edit, copy, and develop their own photos. Nick Adams back here at Fricano's on the Lake for the world's best pizza on the lake. So we're in West Michigan, come to Fricano's. I'm joined here by uh, Kerry Harder, head coach at Oak Ridge. Coach, again, my great, pleasure. Great. And the big guy over here, I'm telling you, Caleb Bubba Cook. Buddha. 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 I thought it was Bubba. My bad, <laughs> big fella. Hey, thanks for um, yep. thanks for joining us. First of all, and uh, hey, you guys are eating some good food tonight. We got to thank Free Spirit Construction for feeding all you guys. So you're number fifty-five. Yes, sir. You got to be a lineman, buddy. Always. Always a lineman. Since the line my, leads the way. Well, since my sophomore year. Since your sophomore year. Uh, so, what's it like playing for this guy right here? It's really fun. I mean, we always have fun during group. He's hard on us sometimes, mm -hmm. but he always just wants the best for us and always leads us to the right thing. Okay. Um, you're, you're off to a good start so far this year. 4-1, and one, only loss to defending state champions, um, Grand Rapids West Catholic. What changes have you made during the season from that loss? Do you see that's helping you guys out? There was little mistakes that messed us up in the West Catholic game. But we just worked hard every day after that on the little things, getting better and better and improving every day. The little things during the course of the game, though, can really add up to some big stuff, can't they? Yes, sir. Yep. Your role as a left tackle is primarily, I would assume, are you more run or more pass? Or are you fairly balanced? We're fairly balanced this year. Okay. So what's your role on the offensive line? Do you help call the defense? Do you do anything to prep your own line? Yeah, I help with the dummy calls. Okay. And uh, protect our quarterback from left side. Protect the quarterback. You've got to protect the quarterback from the blind side, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, tell me about this young man. Uh, what, yeah. what makes him so special to do what he's doing on your own line? Well, number one, he's uh, one of our third or third year varsity players. I uh, won okay. a three on a varsity this oh, year. Oh, that's huge. So yeah, the experience is priceless, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, he's, he's been, uh, been offensive line. Uh, all three years, and so he's he's seen just about every defense that uh, a team's going to throw at us, and so he absolutely is is key in uh, reiterating those line calls, like he said, or helping to make the dummy calls, uh, you know, so that the defenses can't key on where things are going, and uh, you know, helping to uh, just to identify who we're going to block, you know, when we're working things out in a in a, in a practice situation. Okay type of thing and just help get things nailed down and, and and he's you know a coach on the field before he can answer before I can answer questions he well there's no wrong with that is no it? absolutely no, 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 no. no absolutely and Good. and so yeah he's definitely uh Good. helps lead the way like you said I'm gonna lead the way do you play any defense or are you strictly offense I play nose guard on the defense nose guard on the, okay so I've been answering this about some of the other schools you know we had Catholic we had Muskegon we had Shores if you had a choice Coach says, look, Buddha, I'm going to give you a choice. Offense or defense, where are we playing? And don't give me, oh, I want to help the team. No, no, no. I want to come in or D. What do you like better? I like defense better. That's my boy. See, that's my boy right there. You want to knock some, you want to lay some wood on them boys, don't you? Good for you. Why do you like it better? I like making big plays to help our defense. When uh, we need a big stop, 
The okay. defense relies on me. Okay. I like stepping up. Defensively, what do you guys run? Are you an even front or are you an odd front? Odd front. Odd front. So 5-2? Yes, sir. Ah, see, that's, see, that's football right there. Everybody's yeah. going to this 4-3, four, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Do you switch defenses? Let's say if it's a passing situation, you're going to jump into a 4-3, or do you stay 5-2? Uh, we just stay in 5-2 and just uh, change our depths. Depth. So, do your then with spread teams, it's kind of tough to run a five-two. So, at, at do you walk away your end? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's, yep. so, so your end's kind of like an outside linebacker right. type guy. Yeah. So he can walk away and cover yep. like the number three or split the difference on the. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So then we'll have that one that that tackle to his side uh, yeah. responsible. Right. So edge. he'll jump into five and then you'll just move around like that. Yep. Um, three or starter. Yes, sir. Good for you. You got some guns there, son. <laughs> Thank you. Like, you. You like the weight room then, huh? I love it. You got to live in the weight room. You know, you know you're know, you off-season. What's off-season conditioning like? It was uh, pretty tiring, but... <laughs> was it? Okay. It worked us really hard this year. Well, that's good. The big guy runs the weight room? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> you guys address everybody yes, sir? That, Most no, of no, the no. time. That's good because Muskegon does it, sure, sir. I think that shows just good respect, and that's a compliment to you. Yes or no, sir. You know, you're student athletes first, and, 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 and the thing is, you're a student first. You're a very polite young man. Um, who do you have this week? Uh, we have the Shelby Tigers. Shelby, home or away? Away. You're away. Tough place to play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, traditionally, they've been good the last few years. Are they beatable this year? They're beatable, but they definitely have... Uh, some weapons they can beat us with this year. Okay. What are you most concerned about, the run or the pass against Shelby? We're more concerned with the run. The run. Okay. It's going to be tough up there, isn't it? Yeah, well, and, 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 you know, there, there might be some rain. But listen, I want to wish you the very best, young man. Oh, you're a senior. What are you going to do after you graduate? Right now, I enlisted in the Army Reserves. I Good go to you. two or three months of boot camp, then come back and uh, go to college and hopefully play football. Where do you want to go to college? Grand Valley. Good for you. Chance of maybe playing at Grand Valley, I bet. Uh, possibly, yeah. Get him, uh, get him a little bulked up for that. Those, you know, those big you guys. You guys have a young man that's a standout over Grand Valley, don't you? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Jamie, Jamie somebody. Yeah, Jamie, Jamie somebody or something. Jamie yeah. Hot, yeah. Jamie Hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's a good representation of Oak Ridge football. Yeah, he's awesome. Awesome yeah. young man. Yep. What do you want to major in? I want to major in uh, sports broadcasting. Sports. Son, oh, you, oh yeah. see, this boy right here, listen, you stick with me, so I'll take you places. I, I'm announcing the JV games right now. Are you really? Yeah. Good for you. I did. I, I played football and basketball in this game, and then I started doing something afterwards. You'll have fun. Be, <laughs> you might be the next Dan Patrick, buddy. I mean, well, listen, I want to wish you the very Thank best. You. Thank you so very much for coming in. Let me get my glasses on because I'm as blind. But that's Caleb Cook. Caleb, thank you much, buddy. Good okay. luck coming in. Thank you. Well, hey, this is Nick Davis. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. And I think we've got Nate Moore coming up. Is that correct, Coach? Nate Moore, so, yeah. Nate, you're on deck, buddy. We'll be right back at <laughs> Fricano's on the Lake Shore. My name is Mark Dubin. I'm the owner here at RPM Automotive. Uh, we've been here since 1996. We're a full-service auto repair center. We do both foreign and domestic repairs. Uh, most of our repairs are performed same day. We do everything from AC, engine repair, and computer diagnostics. Feel free to call or come by and see us. We're located on Getty Street next to the Getty Street Grill. Hi, I'm Wendy from Healthy Focus. We provide home health care services to people in Western Michigan. We can supply RNs, LPNs, home health aides, certified nurse aides to meet your needs and keep you in your home. The Pizza Ranch, featuring a buffet that is guaranteed to please even the pickiest eaters. From a full soup and salad bar, pizzas and breadsticks, to mouth-watering roasted chicken, potatoes and gravy, vegetables, drinks and desserts, all for just one price. 
Their menu features a wide variety of delectable favorites. You can dine in, carry out, or have your meals delivered. There's something for everyone at the Pizza Ranch. Hey, we're back at Fricano's and we have uh, Nate War with us. Nate, pleasure to have you with me, buddy. Pleasure to be here. And before we get going on with this, you can watch all this good stuff on Sports Local Television on DSE Comcast Channel 96. Wednesday night at 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock, Thursday at 8 o'clock, and Saturday at 7 p.m. on DSE TV, Mesquite Comcast 96. So, you're one of the pretty boys. I guess. Defensive <laughs> back, you get your name in the paper, you catch touchdowns. Yeah. It kind of looks like it, because, you know, I'm looking at the number single digit, yeah, all yeah. that stuff like that. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Pretty good kid, though? Absolutely, yeah. What makes him good? Uh, just his personality, he's coachable, uh, his work ethic, mm -hmm. uh, he's polite, smart kid. Smart kid? Oh, yeah. Not smart aleck kid. Just Not, no, no, no. no. Well, he's, so yeah. he's good from here up, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. that's good. What do you play? Uh, wide receiver and safety. Wide receiver and safety. If that aren't, you know, if those aren't the two prettiest positions, other than quarterback, <laughs> I'm a wide receiver, I get split out, everybody looks at me, I get to do, well, good for you. <laughs> Do you do some seven-on-sevens during the off-season to prep you for your stuff? Of course. Yeah, it's one of the big things that we do to help us get ready for the season um, because without them seven-on-sevens, all your route timings are off, and it really helps us. It's almost like a season before a season. Yeah, gets yeah. Gets into our passing game going. Even though you're one of the – and, 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 and like I said, I'm going to read for you as a pretty boy, okay? Because you're not in the trenches I get it like my practice. man up here, my Buddha that was up here, yeah. the man in the trenches. Right, yeah. I got you coming too. But – you have to hit the weights as well, right? Oh, yeah. You know, your legs got to I think you got some speed. You're wide out, right? Yep. Do you do any other sports other than football? Are you uh, a track guy? No, I play baseball and basketball. Okay, good. For, oh, you're a baller, too? Yeah, boy, pound the baby. I was balling on the ski. <laughs> oh, boy, that's good. Um, seven to sevens are important. Oh, yeah. How do you bring in your play? Do you, you know, a lot of teams are signaling. Do, uh, are you old school where you huddle and you don't, or do you signal to change? Uh, we converted last year into a no huddle offense. Okay. And it uh, it's all hand signals. It's all hand signals. Yeah. Okay. And and that's when the kids the kids get a crash course in, in reading those that during the seven on sevens. Do you guys wear wristbands at all sometimes? No, not not this year. Not we, this year. We, you did in the past, though. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Why the change then from the wristbands to uh, non-wristbands, I guess? Personnel grouping switches, uh, the number of wristbands that we would have had to have with the personnel going in and out. Cost money by those wristbands too, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then, you know, over the wear and tear over the yeah, season. Yeah, right, right, right. And the number of cards that had to be prepped. So do you guys have a run group of kids and then a pass group of kids as well? Uh, or, we can. You, you, or when you sub, or do you just say, this is my 11, we can run and pass with this group? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we yeah we can we can uh, we can uh, run or throw okay. a lot of uh, any, just about any formation. Any group. Yep. Yeah. You got a stock block. Yep. So you're just not out there catching passes, nope, looking, giving the Heisman pose and all that stuff. No. Nope. Tell me about stock blocking. Well, it's pretty important, isn't it? Oh yeah, really important. Because if we don't do our job and block, then our other receivers can't get the ball and can't get yards. And if they don't get yards, then we don't get first downs, and then we don't get chances to get the ball. Okay. Because if we get into third and short and dog fights, and we got to start running the ball, and we can't throw the ball all the time, so we don't get the ball. So it's really important that we block for each other. So you got to earn to get to catch the ball, oh, yeah. then, don't you? Because, oh, yeah. because you know the big guy is going to be watching. You know, oh, yeah. You ain't blocking. You ain't in there, Dad. Yeah, yeah you probably right. won't even be playing. Your safety as well. Yep. Okay. Tough to play safety. I I think defensive backs really got to. And and, and, and to be honest, with you, I think one of the hardest positions to play is corner. Because you got to cover the run and the pass. Oh, yeah. You got 250 pound tackles and guys pulling. <laughs> it's tough. And you know, they could be coming downfield. Yep. At right. your right hand. Yep. What kind of safety is this kid? Uh, he's excellent. I, I, matter of fact, I just I, I referenced uh, to him as being our quarterback of the defense. Okay. So do you make coverage calls? Do you cross strong side, weak side, like we do over at Shores? Yeah. yeah. Because our safety and Mike Linebacker. Makes the power call, you know, Rippy, Louie, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, power right, power left. Yep. Is that what you do too? Yeah, yeah, me and our oh, linebacker, we share. It right, a right, bit. okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're kind of like the captain of the defensive backs, and then your linebacker has your captains and stuff like that. Defense or offense, what's your favorite? Because I asked the big guy here, 
I would probably say defense too. Um, yeah, I just like like to be able to hit people. You like to hit it fun <laughs> to hit somebody. Yeah, even on offense, like you said, stock blocking, you don't really get to hit them. You just kind of no, stay in front of them. Right. So, but somebody running a slant, coming across the middle, and you're there. Does it get any better than that? Not really. It just doesn't. <laughs> that's, that's pretty, Absolutely that's not. Good. College. What are you thinking about college? Where do you want to go to? It, yeah, have you thought about it at all? Um, not a whole lot. I'm thinking about. Are you a junior or senior? Junior. Oh, so you got. Oh, don't even worry right. about that. Okay, just forget that. about that. You'll be coming back next year. Big game coming up up in Shelby. Yep. Tough place to play. Oh, yeah. They've been good, real good the last few years. Yep. Conference game. Yep. What do we got to worry about, Shelby, that you see as a defensive back? I would say we have to worry about, as a DB, stopping some of their pass plays. They okay. run waggles and plays yep. a lot. They have their tendencies, but they uh, – they run their plays really well. The good. plays they do run, they run good. good. Well, listen, buddy, I want to wish you the very, very much. You're a gentleman, you're a smart kid, you're a junior, and you're playing good for you. Hey, everyone, Nate Moore, coming at you. Wish you the best of luck. Got the head coach here, and uh, we're going to be right back after a short timeout. DSE, local sports television, Channel 96, we'll be right back at you. West Michigan Driving Academy has been providing Muskegon County with complete, comprehensive driver's education. Students spend time both in the classroom and on the road in a state-approved driver's education vehicle with state-certified instructors. West Michigan Driving Academy is the only school in Muskegon that offers both day and evening classes throughout the summer. Accident-free, with 150 years of combined experience, you will drive safe at West Michigan Driving Academy. The best way to stay healthy? Exercise your voice. At the New Mercy Health, we believe that carefully listening to you and encouraging you to take an active role in your own health care is an important part of keeping you healthy. So you'll find our extensive network of physicians not only use the latest technology, they focus on what you have to say. Your voice, our expertise. Mercy Health. Wanted. Cars, trucks, vans. Sprague's Auto Parts offers top prices for your wrecked, junk, or unwanted vehicles. Cash on the spot. We pick up or you drop off. For more information, call 231-726-2988. Sprague's Auto Parts, 81 South Getty Street, Muskegon. We buy cars for cash. Good news, we just got the Stevens account. Get Jacobs on the horn and schedule a meeting pronto. Order lunch, something fast, Smith. It's Jones, man. Yeah, look, we'll leverage a synergy on both sides. Hi, Jimmy Jones? Yeah, no, look, the boys... Jimmy Jones. Uh... Yep, sky's the limit on this one. Make sure the Silverman file is on my desk ASAP. Did you order lunch? Yeah, it's waiting for you. Better be, Smith. Still Jones, man. Can't wait on this. Time is money. Jimmy Jones. Jimmy Jones, order online now. Nice job, Jones. Hey, we're back at you. Hey, we got to thank Jimmy John's, home of the world's best and fastest delivered subs on the planet. Jimmy John's is paying the bill for us to have this great show. Hey, you can also see the Freaky Fast Plays of the Day brought to you by Jimmy John's. Tonight's show, as I uh, alluded to earlier, is uh, here at Fricano's on the Lake. We want to thank Ted Fricano and his great staff for hosting our show. Next on the docket over here to my left is uh, Brock Luttrell. Brock, hey, thanks, young man, for thank coming you. back thanks at you. Thanks for having me. Hey, so you're a cornerback, and, yeah. and, and I, I was talking to your coach. I personally think as a coach that cornerback is one of the tougher positions. So very tough. Run, pass, you got to read it right. But most importantly, you're going to get some big boys oh, coming around that corner. Most on, definitely. On what I would call like a toss sweep or something like that. You like playing defense, though? I love defense. Um, I, I, I tend to be a, a smaller cornerback from – other schools, but I play a lot bigger than what I am. You got a big heart, though, don't you? Yep. Absolutely. like to go out there and hit, and if I see a big guard coming at me, lowest man wins. You know, I'm never – never nobody too big pulling at me. I just get low, and I just – I love defense. Good. You're a senior this year. Yep, senior. So you've seen some battle-tested areas before, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, do you play any offense at all? 
Yep, I play a uh, slot receiver. You're a slot too. Yep. Well, you got a lot of guys going. Oh yeah. Two ways. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's our mo. A lot of two-way yeah. guys. You got to be in shape though, don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, I bet yeah, you get we... tired of that. Especially at the beginning of the year, you like. Uh, your game against West Catholic, what is 80, 85 mm-hmm. degrees? Yeah. But you were dog tired at the end Oh, oh most definitely. We do a lot of good conditioning and practice, though, to help us through the year, but it definitely does get tiring um, starting both ways and starting on all the special teams. Yeah. So, You know, I, you know I'm, I'm going to be consistent with this. I asked the other two guys, offense or defense? Defense. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes to play offense. I, well, but, they, but, but, they, but, but they don't show it because they, you know, I mean, we well, score points, no, they right, do well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but... We know what wins championships too. Right. Defense wins championships. Yep, yep, bottom yep. line, I'm not, you know, I've been a D guy all my life. If you're gonna win a championship game, it's gotta come from defense. That was defense. Um, what do you like about it? I mean, you just like hitting people or do you like the complexity? <laughs> because you know what, you gotta be pretty smart neck up to play corners because you gotta decide, you know, you gotta read your keys, the run is the pass, is gonna you know Oh yeah, very difficult. Um I like to hit. That's definitely yeah. a bonus. But um, playing corner there's it's tough with you have one read, and then if when that read goes somewhere, you have to have another read. Yep. And yep. but playing last year alongside a uh, senior heavy um, defensive back group, I got to learn right. a lot, getting reps with the ones last year. So that really helped out with me this year. With Good. The, Tell me about your coach. What do you like about him? Easy what enough. makes him? What makes him a special coach to you? Because you know he inherited. Do you know who Jack Sutter's is? Oh, most definitely. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess if you well. live in Oakland, it's probably like in the history book. All right, this week we're going to do chapter five. Oh, it's about Jack Sugar's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But what makes this go? So because, you know, here in, you know, took over a program from a Hall of Famer. But what makes him special to you? Um, it's nice having him as a coach and as a teacher. Uh, he has really good relations. You got him for a teacher too? Yes. Well, and then uh, physiology. You, yeah, yeah, you got him on both ends, don't you? <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. In, in school. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, um, he's very uh, has good relationships with all the, with all of his kids. Um, it showed in one of our games earlier this year that he has our backs no matter what, and not afraid to get emotional with us. He's a big jolly guy. Don't let him fool you. Um, How does he have your back? Let's you know when when, when I, and I coach with Matt Koziak over at Motor Shores, and the kids said almost again, he's got your back. Could you talk to him about? personal problems maybe that are going in your life as well? Oh, of course. There's been a couple instances this year where some of the players are struggling with um, big-time life problems, and the first person they come to is Coach Harder. So you got, like, that's got to make you feel good, though, doesn't it? Oh, it does. It does. I, you know, I, I want them to be able to to trust in me, to, you know, to just a vent, to talk. You know, it's an opportunity where, you know, we'll close the door and, and get it off their chest. Uh, they, you know, the young people today... You know, I, I wonder sometimes how they how they handle situations as well Aren't as they do. Aren't you glad you're not a kid growing oh, up man. today with cell phones and computers? And, you know, you and I growing up, we got drafts, we went outside, we had a fun, but, right. oh, I got to check this text, and I got to check my tweet. <laughs> right, you know, I have a hard time with it now. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm really old school about that, but yeah. all the outside pressures, right. it's nice to have them. I, I mean, it, congratulations to you. That speaks highly of you. Because... There is more to life than Oak Ridge or Ridge football, isn't there? <laughs> careful, <laughs> careful. Yeah, there, there, there's more to that than yeah. um, Oak Ridge football. No, Congratulations, thank kudos you. to you, Coach. You're a senior. Yep. Senior. You're going to be graduating. Yep. Your future. What do you see? What's in the future for you? Um, I plan on attending um, Skiing Community College. Okay. Um, hopefully, play baseball there. Oh, good for you. Yeah, and then transfer to Grand Valley after that. Good. And majoring in any idea at this point? Um, I kind of. I want to go into sports medicine and maybe uh, the criminal justice field. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Sports medicine would, would be good. I, now, I'm assuming you guys got a full time trainer like all of the schools do. Uh, we have a we have an intern trainer uh, oh, okay. every semester, but uh, then we have a, a just an outstanding uh, trainer, Mike Braid. Yep. Uh, I know Mike. With, yeah. Good for you. Uh, Shoreline Sports Fine. Yep. So. He Good. Uh, handles all our sporting events as well. Good for you. Okay, I ask everybody, and I got to be fair, consistent here. Shelby, what are you worried about? One thing, one play that you were as a corner, you know, their favorite play maybe. What do you see that they could potentially hurt you guys at? Um, they have because a, they might be watching this on Channel 96. Yeah, they <laughs> might. Uh, they have a very versatile quarterback. Um, okay, can throw the ball and can run the ball. 
Um, if don't keep he's contain, elusive um, then, right? Yes. If, if you don't keep contain, um, run a lot of different formations. Okay. Their plays are specific to the formations, but they do have a lot of formations. So it's just knowing what I, what we have to line up in and what formation and keeping that quarterback inside the pocket. Specific. He's a pretty bright boy too, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. There's another one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? It was a pleasure meeting. I want to wish you the very best. Thank you for coming up. I appreciate it, bud. Thank you. Well, we're going to be back. We got uh, we got one. We got the younger brother coming younger up brother. here. Yeah. So we got the younger brother come up. Nick Davos, head coach, Kerry uh, Harper uh, here at Fricano's on the Lake Shore. We'll be right back. experience. The mechanics at Norton Small Engine Repair will keep you running right. Leaf blowers. Snow blowers. Parts and service. And when it comes to buying new. Think steel. At Norton Small Engine Repair. Quality, quality service, service is your guarantee. Your vehicle is an important part of your life. It gets you where you need to go. Take care of it by bringing it to Vans Car Wash and Quick Lube. At Vans Quick Lube, every vehicle gets up to six quarts of high quality Quaker State oils, new oil filter, and a free car wash with every service. If you need a quick wash that is done right the first time, then stop by any convenient Vans Car Wash and experience the hand scrubbed and Simonized difference. Keep your car running and looking great at Vans Car Wash and Quick Lube. Six convenient locations, one near you. The Glenside and Northside pubs, from sandwiches, burgers, and Mexican food, to starters, salads, soups, and desserts, not to mention their specialty pizzas, like Hawaiian, vegetarian, chicken alfredo, and of course their grand finale. It's the Glenside and Northside pubs. Hey, back in here. I'm with head coach Kerry Harvard, the head coach of Oak Ridge High School. And with me over on my left right here is Brady Latrell. Brady? Good to have you. Nice so, you. you're the little brother, yep. but you're bigger. <laughs> so, so my question to you is, who's tougher in the family? Uh, Do you he, gotta listen to the big brother? Yeah, he's yeah, the boss. Yeah, he's the big brother, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, that's good. What position do you play, bud? Quarterback. You're the quarterback? Yep. So, glory position right yeah, here, isn't oh, it? Tell me about it, yeah. And what grade are you in? 10th. You're a 10th grader? Yep. Wow, good for you. C congratulations. Thank you. Tell me about this guy. Good guy? He's a really good guy. What makes him so good? Well, he's fun to be around, and he knows when we got to get serious. If okay. guys are messing around in practice, they'll get on him, and especially scout team. He leads the scout team and makes sure the scout team's doing what they got to do. To Were you on a varsity as a ninth grader, or did you do JV first, and then this was your first year with the varsity? Last year, I was running back on the JV team, okay. and then I was up for playoffs with the varsity team. Okay. So is, is this his first year playing quarterback then? Or did he do some quarterback last year? Uh, no, he, he's his first year with quarterback. So, so we, we did some grooming over the winter. I, I was just going to allude to that. So you did yeah. some serious grooming over the winter. Yeah, yeah, he he did. He put in a lot of work. Good. I mean, he did a lot of learning. So Sorry. The off season, did you do it before school? As do you play a winter sport? Yep, basketball. Sport. Okay, so when did you do the grooming? Uh, before school? A little bit before school, some meetings with our offensive coordinator. Uh, and then there was some, some Sunday, uh, some Sunday, you know, throwing Sunday sessions. Sunday afternoon, throwing yeah. jobs, stuff like that. Yeah. In the gym. Yeah. Okay, you guys don't have like an outdoor practice silly that's covered yet like some of the colleges yet? Yeah, no, not yet. That's probably on the works <laughs> for you, right? I mean, Jack got the turf, you might as well get the indoor practice yeah, facility. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Win the lottery. Yeah. Well, you feed up some of the other people too, that's okay. <laughs> um, Seven on sevens. So as a quarterback, they got to be pretty important to you, I I, I would think. They're you know? very important, yeah. It works the timing of the receivers. For me, coming in as a sophomore, gets the hand signals down from coaching and just the plays. Yeah, coach talked about that. This is the first year you guys are going through all all this and that, right? Yeah, yeah, all the hand signals. No, no play cards on the wrist or anything. Okay, do you have – you have – you have an offensive lineman that yells out dummy calls. Mm -hmm. Do you have somebody doing dummy signals then as well, or is it one Sometimes, call? sometimes we do. My God, you guys are like a college and, team for everything. And, uh, yeah, well, yeah, and uh, yeah. there's there's also uh, some dummy calls in, in with our signals that go in too. 
Really? Oh yeah. Good. So, <laughs> have you ever made a mistake on a call? I mean, I mean, they're doing all this stuff. And In practice, I have. I mess up. About once a day, usually, with some calls, but in make, the game, I haven't yet. Good, because make all your mistakes yeah. in practice. It doesn't cause it, and then they can holler at you. Yeah. You know, he brings up a great point. Is it easier to coach in a game or at practice for you? Ooh. Now, I'm going to put you on the side. Yeah. For me, it's tougher to coach in a game because I can't stop the game. I can't go out. I can't <laughs> yeah. do all these things. Look, yeah. son. You did this. We got to have you know post Absolutely. little, keep, you know, game. Right. What's toughest for you? I, uh, yeah, probably that. You bring up a good point because, because you can't control as much. Right. Yeah. We we tell the kids on uh, we tell the kids on Thursday after pregame that basically you know we tell them okay tomorrow will be Friday you know we hand it off to hand you. the game plan to yeah. you and, and it's yeah. in your hands and you step in the white yeah. lines and you execute it. So then for you, my question for you is, is I used to say practices are harder than games because the coach is on. What's harder for you, a game or practice? Or where do you feel the most pressure? I feel the most pressure in the game. In a game, but what's tougher to do? Be in a game and run it? Or knowing that if you make a mistake, coach is going to criticize you? Well, I think in practices it's harder because they can't hit me and stuff, so it's you can't run full speed and stuff like that. What do you mean they can't hit you? I'm not allowed to be touched. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you wear like a red jersey then knowing no, that yet? not that far, but. Yeah, but you know what? We say the same thing too. Yeah. So, do you play, I bet you don't play defense. No defense. Yeah, yeah, quarterbacks don't play defense. Nah, too, not right? too much, no. No, 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 no. I agree. Um, you're only a sophomore, so you got to come What other sports do you play? Basketball, uh, baseball. Basketball, and what, you're a guard in basketball? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, you and your brother, you guys get along pretty good. Yes. Or the traditional, the traditional brotherly love type stuff like that. Yeah. Kind of. How is it for mom and dad then game time? They love it. They're nervous, but they love it. Oh, I bet they're really nervous. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Shelby coming up then for you guys. Defensively, what does Shelby run? Odd or even? Odd front, fifty-two. Fifty-two. Yeah. Do most of the teams in the conference run a 52? Uh, I we really sort of. see a 52 where I'm at. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's back in Muskegon when you know when I coached and played, we were 52 for the run, sure passing uh, situation. I jump into a 4-3 and sure. stuff like that. Yeah. What are you worried about then? So Shelby runs 52. What are you worried about with them? Uh, blitzing? Are they big up front? Are they quick? Shelby's got some big guys up front. I think if we can block them and do our assignments up front and our receivers catch the ball and I make good balls, I think we'll be good. Um, I just had a thought here and, uh, oh, if you're going to, do you have the option to audible or does the coach change the play from what, you know, I'm assuming back, you know, where I'm, you know, we want to know where the one and the three is. What do you guys look at in order to change the play for that? Yeah, if they're if they're running an, uh, an odd front or I'm uh, sorry, an even front defense, or we're if there's a uh, like that. Yeah, we look for a one or three, or if there's a uh, you know stronger side linebacker or a defensive end or something like that, we'll look for that. Yeah. Um, big ball game coming up. Your conference. What's your number one goal as a quarterback? To win your, conference. Y- y- okay. Personal goal as a player. You know, let's forget about conference. But what do you want to improve yourself as as the season goes on? I just want to get better every day. Get better every day. I wish you the very best. Thank good, you. good having you with it. Good luck Friday night. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to be back again after a short break. I want to thank Brady for coming up. Last but not last, least on this is James Cooper the third. James, I had to have more shorts. I look forward to bring up. This is Nick Davros, head coach Kerry Harger. We're going to be right back in just a minute. Northway Lanes and Billiards, featuring Cosmic Bowling, 50 Auto Score Lanes, Automated Bumpers, 8 Brunswick Pool Table Snack Shop, and Banquet Facilities. With over 100 leagues to choose from, it's Northway Lanes and Billiards. Just made it. Hi folks, looks like we're going to be here at least 15 minutes.
Hello, Jimmy John's? Someone order Jimmy John's? Jimmy John's. Order online at jimmyjohns.com. With four convenient locations, Jack's Corner Store is one-stop shopping at its best. Tools, fresh meats, produce, chips, snacks, and other grocery items, beer, wine, and liquor, even gas and lottery. That's why Jack's is your corner store and so much more. Beginning as a lumber company in 1911, Frederick's Construction has been servicing the Muskegon area since 1969. Family owned and operated, they specialize in roofing, siding, windows, insulation, additions, doors, decks, and more. Located at 1940 Commerce Street in beautiful downtown Muskegon, their phone number is 231-722-3937. When you want quality worksmanship, you want Frederick's Construction. A monument is far more than a means of marking a resting place. It is a symbol of love and devotion. During your time of need, the designers and engravers at Superior Monument will work closely with you and your family. Superior Monument, building honor, respect, joy, and remembrance of a life. Welcome back. We're on DSE TV, Muskegon Comcast 96, your local sports television show. On my right, Carrie Harger, the head coach of Oak Ridge. On my left, Former player of mine over at Motor Shores, you yeah. traded on me, buddy. You love no, me. Sorry. James Cooper the third. James, buddy, it's good to see you again. God, no, you look nice good. To see you. Good. So, first of all, you moved on me, buddy. <laughs> What's up with that? My dad always went out here, so I was like. It's not a problem. I'll tell you what, him. great program. Sounds like you're playing for a great coach. I am. How do you like this guy? He's amazing. He's amazing. Oh, what yeah. makes him amazing, Cooper? It's just like he helps. Helps out everybody on the team, just in case they're doing something wrong. Yep. And that's Have all you, you got him for a coach? teacher? No. Not, not this year. Good. Avoid him for as long as possible. <laughs> because he'll, you know what? He's going to have you on both ends. All right. So, at Shores, wide out, defensive back. What do you, same thing at yep. at, at at the Ridge. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is that what we're doing at the Ridge? Yeah. Yep. Wide out or slot? Wide out. Wide out. Defensively, uh, safety? Corner. Corner? Yeah. How do you like playing corner? Oh, I love it. Do you? Yeah, I just. What do you like about corner? Just like the reads. Like, you have to think so much about. Oh, yeah. It. It's yeah. tough playing corner, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What's the hardest adjustment you've had to make from corner to, from safety to corner? Uh, it's quicker, isn't yeah. it? Not that much. Not just, that much? Okay. Yeah, it's just that you have to keep your eyes on the quarterback yep. and the receiver. Yep, and you got to read your keys. Yep. yep, okay. Playing at a different school, have you noticed any change from Shores to Oak Ridge? Nope. Anything different, or is football just football? Different signals. Different That's signals, yeah, right. because you guys are going, now according to you, hand signals, no uh, no wristband. Different than what Coach Koziak did a little bit? Yes. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Different Good. numbers. Different numbers and and things like that. Um, you play on turf all the time, though. Yeah, it's nice. You like playing oh, on yeah. turf? Yeah. Way they got better. great facilities over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You go to a program where expectations are really high. Yeah, I like it. What do you like about it? Just stepping up to the challenge. The challenge. Yeah. Each each and every week, it's a different challenge. The conference, you're in tough conference as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Best conference, best small school conference around. I, I would agree with that. Would you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely uh, is definitely one of the toughest ones in the state. Oh, I think so. Year yeah. in and year out, too. Right. I mean, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen the West Michigan Conference down. There's always yeah. somebody in the playoffs. There's right. always somebody making a deep run into the playoffs as well. Sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 yeah if not only one, more than one. Oh, more than one. Yeah. You got a great kid in this show. I had the honor of coaching him. Not only is he a good kid socially, mm -hmm. but he's a good athlete. Right. Absolutely. What does he bring to Oak Ridge that you really like? Uh, number one, just his overall personality. I mean, he's he's uh, you know he's he's soft spoken. He's yeah, a good, he lighthearted kid. He's got a great sense of humor. There was a lot of times, you don't even know he's on the field sometimes. They didn't say anything. But yeah, yeah his actions yeah. speak for themselves. Right. And that's a nice touch. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and uh, you know, from an athletic standpoint, then he's just, he's a, a, a huge weapon for us, you know, to, to step in and, and uh, uh, you know, bring a, another depth 
you know, another weapon be able to go down the field. Yep. Um, you know, so we have run north and south or, you know, side to side and then to be able to air the ball out as well. He can't cut like this. <laughs> so he's a north and south runner, aren't you? <laughs> no change. No? Yeah. You cutting out everything? Oh, yeah. well, you changed a little bit. There. Did, yeah, he does change. a little bit of that. He does a little bit of oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, power side, strong side? On the defense, or or big, or or is it more what the team does? Kind of what the team does, yeah. Like, kind of where we feel the best matchup is going to be. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, you're playing some other sports as well. Yep. At Oak Ridge, at Shores, you were football, basketball, baseball. Are you going to do the same thing? Same out thing. There? Yeah. Yep. It's a good program. It's kind of fun, huh? Yeah. Well, that's good. Um, favorite thing about this kid. One thing that you could pick out that tells me who this kid is. You know, I think probably just the way once he once he got to the program, just how he how easy he acclimated to the program, uh, just how well he fit in, and it wasn't about. It's never him about being him. No, it's never yeah. about him, is it? Yeah, no, it no. wasn't. It wasn't about him being there, and and you know, sort of so to speak, about about him blessing us with his presence it, it was a complete opposite of that yeah he just wa he wanted to be there and he wanted to 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 play Oak Ridge football and it's that's been awesome what do you like about the Oak Ridge community that's different from the Mona Shores because you know at Shores we were you know let's say 1300 kids what's your enrollment uh just over 500 okay so we're two and a half times as big what do you notice the difference about that is it more of a family type oh, yeah. atmosphere yes you like, like it more kids are like nice, each, nicer to each other because just well, that's cringe. good. That's good. You got Shelby coming up this week. Tough conference game. I, you know, obviously you guys want to win the conference. What are you worried about as a cornerback that Shelby does really good, Coop? Just their run plays. The run yeah. ball. They like to do like counters, mm -hmm. tosses, sweeps. Whatever. So you got to be disciplined to stay home, watch bootleg, counter, yeah. reverse action. You can't be flying out of there. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, you're healthy this year? Yeah. Good. When did you move into the area? During the summer. During the summer. So you did some seven on seven. Yeah, just you worked in the right room with the guys and everything like that as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Well, listen, um, academically, you're doing good. You're always doing good at Charles. Say hi to mom and dad for me. I will. All right. I want yeah. to wish you the best. James Cooper, third buddy. Good seeing you again. We saw you on TV, by the way. We were over at Coach Kozia, and one of your highlights were there. Is that cool? Oh. That's cool. Boy, that we were talking about you. Hey, listen, I want to wish you the best of luck, buddy. Thank you very much. Coach, I can't thank you enough for sacrificing some of your family. Oh, it was a pleasure meeting you. I Absolutely. never had a chance to meet you. No, a great experience. I, I appreciate look forward it. to you. In fact, we were talking about this. When all of the teams make the comment, we're going to try to get all of the local teams together and see if we can do something special. Sure. Good luck Friday night thank you. against Oak Ridge. Good luck the rest of the season. And to all of you guys, hey, I want to thank you very much. I wish all of you the best of luck this coming up. So for head coach uh, Kerry Harger and for everyone in Oak Ridge, you should be proud of these fine young men, this coach that you have. I just want to remind everyone that our show can be seen Wednesday night at 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock, Thursdays at 8 p.m., Saturdays at 7 p.m. We're on DSE TV Muskegon Comcast 96. We also want to thank for Connell's Ted. Thanks for letting us use your place. And for Jimmy John's hosting, uh, paying the big bill, bringing the freaky fast Friday play of the day. And finally, I got to thank someone who fed all you guys. I hope you enjoyed because this is the best pizza in town. A special thanks to Free Spirit Construction for helping to feed all of you guys. So for Nick Darrows and everyone, we wish you the very best, guys. And we'll see you next week right here.